Great camp. I really enjoy like working with Larry Johnson, obviously the best coach in the world right now. And uh, I learned a lot, but I'm kind of disappointed of my performance. I could do better. I feel like I'm the heavy. So it's my second wing doing camps, but I got to step up, do better. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm not done. And uh, I really enjoy the camp, the competition. There's some good O-line man. I learned a lot. And how, how do you feel like you could have done better today? Um, I feel like all my pass rush, uh, I, I, I was really slow on my moves. I was really slow on my moves. Like, definitely, I, I can do better on all my moves, even the one that wins. And um, I mean, I got to work on my feet precision on my footwork. I, I got speed fit, but not precision on my feet. So I got to definitely put some work in. I'm going to put some work in, get better, and I'm not done. So. How long have you been playing American football and how did you get introduced to it? Uh, so I've been playing uh, American football for four years now. I'm still in my season right now. Like I started at 14 years old. I was playing rugby before. A friend told me, go, go try some football and then look where I am right now. I'm doing things and I just fell in love with the sport and uh, that's all. You mentioned that you've been doing camps for two weeks. How yeah. tiring is that? I mean, it's very... Very so I'm losing a lot of weight. Uh, I lost 10 pounds since uh, the first games. I'm losing a lot of water. We're doing a lot of drives. So we went to Texas, to Georgia, to Louisiana, we did, uh, to here, to Ohio. So we were spending a lot of time on the, on the drive. But I mean, it's paying off. When, uh, when you get offers, it's like investing on your future. So I'm just doing good with it. What is your weight at now? Uh, I'm 228. Uh, I get it to 28. And what do you want to be at when you start your college career? Uh, my college career, I'm trying to go 260 to 50. I, I want to stay lean and really fast. Um, I'm going to drop like, my 40 time to a 4.5. Uh, right now, I'm 4.7. I'm trying to go 4.5. And uh, definitely like to be like a perfect edge like to cover and rush at the same time through being a you double fit. You mentioned Larry Johnson. Yeah. What do you know about him? Obviously, uh, not growing up in the States. How have you, how have you learned about him? You know? So I learned about him, about my coach, Brandon Collier. He told me, like, obviously, that was the best coach in the world. So last year, I did the camp also. I wasn't that good. And, like, I worked the first time with Larry Johnson, and he really improved myself and, and uh, like, gave me the passion of pass rush and uh, moving the hands and all, all of this. Does coming back the second year show you the progress yeah. that you made? Yeah, definitely. So... Yeah, I'm not on the same level that last year, definitely. I really improved myself, and I think like, Larry Johnson got something. Yeah, that's all I can say. Like, he's the best coach in the world. Is there anything in particular that he taught you today that you think made you a better player? Um, yeah, definitely like the use of the hands on the bags, keeping uh, in, in his hand eye. And uh, yeah, the precision, always the precision, where, how you place your hand and all. So I really learned a lot about this because I'm not a great hand user. I'm more like aggressive, long arm, speed or spin. But I definitely like really improve my hands. I'm not. Do, you, do you talk to somebody like Hiro Canoe who's gone through PPI yeah. and now he's here at Ohio State? What's the, what are those conversations like? Yeah, we have some great conversations. I learned a lot from him. Like he, he teaches me a lot of moves. Well, what well, I mean, what's I gotta have for the next level? So yeah. So, great conversation. What would it mean to you if you got an Ohio State offer like he did? This, this, this is crazy. This would be crazy. Like, this is obviously like the best school for pass rushers, so for my position. Right now I got the team of the North offer, but <laughs> yeah, Ohio State is really like, I, I see me play there. I see me play there. How many offers do you have right now? Uh, I got 10 offers. Uh, yeah, I got uh, 10 offers. Maybe 11. Oh, yeah, and my biggest Michigan, Georgia Tech. Um, also, I got uh, Colorado, sorry. Uh, and some small FCS like Liberty, uh, Austin Pay. I, I have a couple of like, 10 offers. I can't say it all right now, but yeah, I'm trying to go power five. With, with PPI being here the two days, have you had a chance to tour the facilities and tour the yeah. campus? What are your yeah, thoughts about I, Ohio State? This is like really a little place that made for development. Like, you get just get you better like when you see like the facilities and all this is I don't know the word sorry but this is I mean 
did, there's no better place for a best fresh round. What did you know about Ohio State before you came here last year? And so, how have you kind of grown more yeah. to know Ohio State? So when I started like playing football and watching football, I started immediately like looking at Ohio State and Chase Young, who's obviously my my mother, Chase Young, who's, who, who was playing at Ohio State. Yeah, that that's kind of. I get the passion of Ohio State from him because I, I really want to be as great as him and what he did in college. So. Chase Young, is that who you're talking about? Yeah. Well, what stands out to you about his game? What do you like about watching him? I mean, he's just dominant, like in every point. Speed, power, football IQ. I mean, he got all the points. Like, during his college career, he was like, I mean, like the perfect version, the perfect, like, end player. So, uh, definitely. Yeah. How hard is it to find American football highlights and games overseas to be I mean, able to watch it? Yeah. I mean, you have to do some work with time differences and, you know. It's yeah, a yeah. so we are just staying uh, up, like, during all the nights. Yeah, sleeping late and all. What are the biggest things you look for when you're visiting each school? I, I want to first, I, I want to see the strength stuff, like, I obviously, I'm gonna get bigger. I'm gonna get bigger and stronger, faster, and I need like to be bigger, stronger, faster. And uh, obviously, I I want to fit like in a good system. Like, so I gotta talk with a defensive coordinator, D line coach, or the edge rusher coach. Well, suddenly I gotta, yeah. Do you have like a timeline in your mind of your recruitment, like when you wanna make a decision? I mean, right now I'm focusing on doing my best at every camp I do. Uh, I think like. When every camp is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a decision before leaving the U.S. Maybe. And when do you when do you leave the U.S.? So I will be leaving on the 23rd. So yeah. kind of a ne next week is kind of a time for you yeah. to kind of see what you yeah, can get definitely. and then go from there. Yeah, and I see with my coach Brendan. Uh, obviously, got good advice from me. So. How many uh, of your teammates from PPI are here? Uh, yeah. so we actually 30. About 30. Yeah, about 30, maybe 32, 34. And each week there is a new group. And some that's me that's staying like since like the first week. Uh, yeah, we're 30 and every week there is new player, fresh player, attending to like more like camps of their level. So obviously like the best player international are at the first tour. Then you got the second best player on second tour and third tour. And I'm staying all all three too because I wanna kinda use my momentum and keep pushing in the US because I already got a chance to play at the next level I want to know the most of this country where I'm going to go know all of this stuff you, you said this is your second go round of doing the camps what, what are your favorite things that you've discovered while being in the states uh, I mean the the character like the the love of sports the love of sports we ain't got that in Europe like here it's like sports this is the best place in the world to be an athlete so that's literally in every point every point do you feel like you're just scratching the surface of how good you can be as a football player? No, nah, definitely not. Uh, I feel like um, I'm here, I'm potentially through the sky, and uh, I just want to, like, yeah, be in the place that can develop me because I know I can be faster, stronger, like, ah, uh, yeah. I'm like 1% on 100%, let's say. 1% out of 100? Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I can be 100 <laughs> times better. I'm sure about that. <laughs>